Hi, we're here to discuss software stacks that are available for the Genic devices, namely the GN5148 device. First definition is what is Zigbee? Zigbee means that you're using the right hardware, right software stack, and compliance. It is possible to take Zigbee hardware, which is a IEEE 802.15.4 radio, and run another software stack on it. That does not make it Zigbee. In order to be Zigbee, you have to have the software stack and go through some compliance testing. We will explain some of the other software stacks that can run on Zigbee hardware or on 15.4 hardware radio. Most common question is, do you have to join the alliance? Yes, you do. In order to buy the development kit and do development, you do not have to pay any royalties. Genic wrote the software stack in-house, written by Genic employees. However, when your product goes into production, the Zigbee specification is intellectual property that belongs to the Zigbee Alliance, and therefore, in order to implement the software stack and use it in production, you must join the Alliance. That's something that you negotiate between the Zigbee Alliance, and when you join the Alliance, uh, then you can put the logo on your product as well. Network topologies, basic ones are point-to-point -point and star network. Both point-to-point -point 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 and star can be done with a 15.4 stack. If you want something more intricate, such as mesh networks or tree networks, you would need a more advanced software stack. Both Zigbee Pro and GenNet, they would do a tree network star or point-to-point. -point. Zigbee Pro is only mesh. Uh, GenNet is tree only. What is a mesh network? Mesh network means that an endpoint can talk directly to an endpoint without having to go up to a common parent or a common router. That is what differentiates Zigbee Pro from some of the other software stacks. However, you should know that that's not very common. It's not common for one endpoint to talk directly to another endpoint. And by doing that, it does require a lot more memory resources on each device, especially as the network gets larger and larger. A self-healing tree gives you similar capabilities to what a mesh does. In other words, uh, tree paths can go away. It'll find alternate paths. However, what it says is one endpoint to talk to another must come up to a common parent, and then the data communication come back down. That reduces the overhead and allows for much larger networks. Genic offers something for everybody. Although Zigbee and other standards are becoming very popular, most designs still want to do something proprietary. They don't want to join an alliance. They don't want to pay royalty fees, and therefore a software stack like GenNet or 15.4 makes a lot of sense for those applications. Uh, again, just because you're running 15.4 software does not mean that you have to run a Zigbee stack. There's a lot of different stacks. Genic offers variety to customers. That differentiates us. You can use a 15.4 stack. We have GenNet, which again expands the number of nodes you can have. It's a self-healing tree. If you want interoperability, we do offer Zigbee Pro software stack. Interoperability, what does that mean? Six low pan means that you can interoperate once you go out to a network. So in this case, the Genic nodes, which are all located in the blue cloud, can communicate with another vendor, six low pan, once they're out on some kind of backhaul network, Ethernet, Wi-Fi, and so forth, even a power line carrier shown in the brown cloud, those will be able to communicate. But 6LOPAN is not interoperable within the cloud, so you cannot take vendor B's devices, put them into a Genic cloud, and you cannot take Genic devices and put them into a vendor's cloud. That is not interoperable. What 6LOPAN means is that it is interoperable once it comes to a backplane network, backhaul network. Zigbee offers interoperability within the cloud. So in this case, the purple cloud can contain Genic devices or any other vendor's devices, and they will operate fine. However, Genic has not inter defined how different radio clouds can communicate with each other. There's no provisions for an Ethernet or IP addressing at the moment, and so now you cannot take a Zigbee network and have it readily communicate with an IP-based network you're going to need some kind of uh, gateway and router to accomplish that. One of the important criteria for stack selection is do you want to be interoperable? Again, the Zigbee Pro allows you to be interoperable, uh, but what, that's one of the first decisions you should make. If you don't need to be interoperable, you have another uh, 
version of software stacks you can select which would work in your application. If you want to be interoperable, you have to find out, do you want to be interoperable in that wireless personal area network? In that case, you would need six, uh, one type of network, Zigbee Pro. If you want to be interoperable with other devices that may be wired or not wired, maybe a stack like 6 Lopan would be a better fit for you. Large file transfers, 6 Lopan uses UDP, and that allows it to segment and reassemble large files, such as sending a JPEG image over a network. Your user application doesn't have to do that. It's done automatically for you with the UDP layer. Other criteria for selecting stack selections, group and interoperability. Zigbee Pro does grouping automatically. You broadcast messages, and a device knows whether it's in the room, the house, or the street that you wanted to send the message to. GenNet can do it at the application layer, and there's a street lighting application that shows you how to do that. But again, it has to be done at the application layer. Zigbee Pro does it on the stack side. If your nodes are roaming and moving around, Zigbee Pro is the best alternative for that type of network. 15.4 could work also if it was point-to-point. -point. The stack selection chart shows you side-by-side -side comparisons between all the software stacks. Uh, GenNet is listed here as 500 nodes. It can actually support 1,000 nodes, but realistically, you, you're going to want redundant paths for doing the self repairing network, and in that case, you probably want to limit your network to 500 nodes or less. Zigbee Pro is listed at 50 nodes. Uh, why is that? Even though early promises said it will be 1,000 nodes, some of the reasons are is that basically nobody's deploying large Zigbee Pro networks in a house or a cluster of homes. Typically, 15 nodes or less, less is common. Nobody's asked for 50 nodes or higher. That will be increased as Genic does more reliability testing and network stability testing on the network. We expect to go to 100 nodes shortly, uh, and we'll work on those as required by customers. And the node configuration is shown what we've used for testing. Here's the architecture that Genic uses for software stacks. Uh, Genic uh, exists on its own network stack. Zigbee Pro has its own network work stack. Six Lopan resides on top of GenNet. RF4CE is a point-to-point. -point. It does not reside on any network architecture, and so that's shown. Uh, other software, again, system resources, A to D converters, and so forth. You, it's not recommended you write directly to them through a register. It's recommended you go through an API call that allows you to make a quick substitution with new cores and new devices. GenNet, again, supports up to 1,000 nodes. It does encryption. It runs on top of a Mac layer very fast, two milliseconds response time for it. It does load balancing and network clustering. All the parameters are settable by the user. You can set them up, and the network will balance itself. Route repair will happen at a predetermined interval that you set on the network, and it'll be able to fix all the broken links. You can even download software over the network. In this case, it's showing uh, version software is one, so C1 is coordinator one, C2 would be coordinator software, endpoints and routers. The software downloads, the network nodes all restart themselves and reform into the latest optimized network you had that's settable by a timer, so as the timer uh, would reset which nodes connect to the network first, and that allows you to redeploy a network very quickly with a new version of software. Zigbee has uh, an alliance of several customers, end users, semiconductor companies are all members of the alliance, as is Gen Genic has been a member for a very long time. It's a brand name similar to Bluetooth that allows interoperable devices. That's one of the benefits of Zigbee. And Zigbee Pro has certainly proven that in several applications, including smart metering. We offer all those software stacks. One of the differentiators for Genic is that we offer all software stacks on our device that allows you to take a user application like the home sensor network and really try running it on different stacks and see what the user experience is and see what the network operation is by using different software stacks. We're the only vendor that can give you this kind of reliability, and we're always available to help you pick the right software stack. Any questions, feel free to call Genic. Thank you very much.